This is my story. You know, a few months ago, when I was thinking about how to commemorate my 10th anniversary as your mayor, you know, some people had the basic idea of let's have a cake, let's have a party. Well, we can't do any of that because of COVID anyway. And it's not about me. It's been about the future of our community. So how great are these stories? Looking back on them, not only am I in awe of the artist Sam Hester, of Ryan Northcott, and Media Pop, and the great work they've done pulling these short films together, but I hope that you felt the way I did when I watched them. I hope you laughed a little bit. I hope you cried a little bit. I hope you thought a little bit. And in the end, I hope that you felt grateful for this incredible place that we live. I know I did. People have been gathering here and building community for thousands of years, and we continue to do that even today. And this is not how I thought I'd be celebrating my 10th anniversary. I did get a cake. But 2020 is not what any of us expected. And it's tough. We're dealing with a pandemic. We're dealing with a mental health and addictions crisis. We're dealing with an economic crisis. We're dealing with a reckoning on what it truly means to be anti-racist, even in a magnificently pluralistic place as this. And it's all coming at us at once. And I know that so many of us are feeling a lot of grief. We're pretty sad. We've lost a lot. We've given up a lot this year. And I know a lot of us are feeling a lot of fear right now. There's a lot of uncertainty about the future, about our economy, about what's going to happen in this place. And that's okay, because we're human. But I want to tell you something. Watching these videos and thinking about these last 10 years reminds me of the extraordinary place that we built right here on this land. And you know, I'm never going to stop reminding people that last year we were named by The Economist as being the very best city to live in the entire Western Hemisphere. That's something for a city in the middle of the often frozen Canadian prairie, small on a global scale. That's what we've been able to build here together. And yes, I could go on about metrics and policies, and we have the lowest taxes uh, in the country for residences, and all of those things, and all those things matter, and I drive myself by those things every day. But there's something deeper and bigger here. And that is the simple mantra that all 15,000 of my colleagues here at the City of Calgary live every day. It's in every elevator, it's by every water cooler. Making life better every day. And there are so many great days. You know, there's been tough days, there's been never-ending meetings, there have been big political fights, but there have been great days. There have been the day when we introduced the low-income transit pass and fundamentally changed the lives of the people living in the most poverty in our city. There are days when we invested in parks and opened new recreation centers to give people that quality of life. There's been days when we've invested in transportation and transit and making the city better. There are days where we have welcomed entrepreneurs to the city to grow their business and transform our economy and create great jobs. Every day, we're busy here making life better. So back to these extraordinary little films. Thank you to the Calgarians. You saw 10 stories. There's probably 20 more that we're gonna get up to share with you in some way. But thanks to all the Calgarians who volunteered their time to tell us the stories of their last 10 years. It's been inspirational, it's a message of hope, but it's also a message of work that needs to be done. And thank you so much to all of you. But the most important thank you is from me to the citizens of Calgary. Thank you for giving me this chance. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to put on my pants and go to work every day to try and make this community better for you. Thank you for giving me, even for a second, custody of your hopes and your dreams and your fears for this extraordinary place, for your families, for your children, for what we're trying to build here together. You know, I grew up in a family with a lot of rules, but the most important rule was you must always perform seva. It means service. You must always be a sevadari, someone who gives service. But I think sevadari means something else. I think it means human being, because we are all called to provide that service. And I want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to provide that service to all of you over these years. Even now, I tick my little card and I walk into City Hall 
and I am humbled by the fact that I have this opportunity in front of me. It's a responsibility that I take very, very seriously every single day. Ten years ago, I talked about the promise of this community, and it just feels right to talk about that again. That very simple promise of this place. The promise that it doesn't matter what you look like or where you come from. It doesn't matter how you worship or whom you love. What matters is that you're here, that you deserve to be here, that you deserve to be safe here, that you deserve the opportunity to build your hopes and dreams for your family and for future generations right here. Because ultimately the promise is very simple, that every single person lucky enough to share this land has the opportunity right here, right now, to build a great Canadian life. Thank you for giving me the chance to work on that promise every day. Thank you for working on that promise every single day. Thank you for 10 years together.